guys, this is Nana at Nana's Corner, and today we're making snowmen out of socks. The socks were purchased from the Dollar Tree, or you socks that you have in your home. You need some rice, pipe cleaner, something for the eyes, such as flatback pearls, some black acrylic paint. So you need some rubber bands and some twine. And here we purchased all these socks, fuzzy socks from the Dollar Tree, and we're going to use some of them today. These snowmen, let me tell you, are so fun to make and they are so freaking cute. You just fill the sock up with the amount of rice that you want for your snowman, how fat, how tall, how skinny you want it, and you just tie it off, put some rubber bands around it to make its body, and you just decorate, and they are so fun to make. We just didn't want to stop. We were having so much fun. You kind of want to bounce the sock down so the rice gets compacted at the bottom so it got a little firm little body so it'll stand up real good and not flop all over. You just tie it off. Form your body so you know where you want your uh, elastic to go. And what we did after we put the elastic on was we tied it off with some twine just in case the rubber band should break or over time they kind of wear down and you won't lose your snowman's uh, shape. So here we are, we're just tying it around and like I said, I have an obsession with snowmen. I have them all over the place and I just think they're adorable. Um, here in San Antonio we don't get much snow if we get snow at all so this is my snow. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe because I have a lot more snowman DIYs coming up that I want to share with you. They're simple, they're inexpensive, and they are just cute. So here we are. We are cutting the sock. You cut the t from the heel, and then you're going to use the toe part for the hat. But first you have to cut off two little tubes for the scarf. One of the tubes will just go around the neck as it is, and the other one you're going to cut at one spot to make the little dangles. Put that around. The other one you'll hoop through the scarf around the neck, and you can either tie it or just leave it the way it is, fringe it, just decorate it the way you like. Just go crazy. It is so fun. There are so many different ways to decorate these. This is a cheap and fun time to have with your kids or grandchildren or just by yourself. I had so much fun making these. And here she's putting on the eyes. We forgot we took a break and turned off the glue gun so we had to wait for it to heat up. So we did go back and glue on the eyes though. <laughs> and next she's going to use the pipe cleaner. You just cut off a piece of orange pipe cleaner the so about twice as long as you want your actual nose to be because you're going to fold it in half and the little pokey ends you're going to put some hot glue on and then stick it right into that sock push it in let it go through so it stays secure and you can bend that nose have it straight up down however you want to decorate your snowman next she's taking some black acrylic paint at the end of the paintbrush and just making little circles for the coal mouth. It's very easy. Just poke it across there and you get a nice perfect circle. Now she's taking some buttons from my stash and she's going to glue three of those on the body. And we also got some of the snowflake um, little charms that they sell. At Dollar Tree and she decorated the hat with the top of the hat with that and the scarf and it just came out so cute. <clears throat> so if you like this video and you want to see more simple DIYs that are fun and adorable, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments how you liked it, if you've ever made them, if you're going to try them, and any suggestions you have for different decorations you can add to it. I'd love to hear to you and I'll get back to every comment just as soon as I can.